So my American Girl box order, I mean, finally came. This is my first, not my first American Girl purchase since I started collecting dolls as an adult because I already bought like some clothing items, but I got this cute shirt. It was $5 and I love this shirt. Like this color blue is one of my favorite shades. Yeah, and then I got this cute little fur jacket, which is the cutest thing ever. I love this. It was also like five or six dollars. And then I got this cute skirt. I'm like so in love with plaid skirts. I have a lot of plaid skirts in real life, so yeah. And then I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't planning on buying this doll as my first new doll as a doll collector i was not planning on getting her i was planning on getting claudie but she went on sale and she was already on my want list and i was just like she's pretty i don't think anything is off about her eyes but also i'm not an expert i'm just so excited because i haven't got a doll since 2013 my last doll was sage copeland girl of the year and she was my last american girl purchase i'm about to open her up uh, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I haven't opened an American Girl in years, y'all. Number 80. <laughs> I feel like crying right now. Oh my god, this book is so cute. I love green. This is my favorite, one of my favorite shades of green, actually. This me outfit is too freaking cute. Like they really upped it since I like last got a uh, Truly Me or whatever these dolls are called. <laughs> I don't know what my doll was called. I don't remember if it was a Truly Me or My American Girl. I really don't remember. All I know is that it, it was the time where it had the Inner Star University. But that me outfit was like with these like, it was like a long purple shirt, long sleeve shirt with some purple shoes and a pair of leggings. This, you can literally like, maybe not the dress, I don't love the dress, but the shoes, yo. These are some purdy shoes. And then I love the jacket. Like the jacket is definitely going to go with a lot of outfits. Cause I'm a pink girly. Okay, let me get my scissors. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my gosh, my my doll's limbs are so loose, so it just feels so crazy to have a doll without loose limbs. Like, wow, her arm stays up. <laughs> now for the grand unveil, y'all. I love this chocolate brown hair of hers. The hair net. I love the texture of her hair. It's so pretty. Y'all, when I was like into American Girl dolls when I was younger, they barely had any textured type of hair. So it's cool to see like they have like more types of textured hair, textured, textured hair, wigs, whatever you want to call it. Ah, oh, her hair is so pretty. Featuring my boyfriend's whistles in the back. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but if y'all can. Oh my gosh. I wish I had a brush, an American Girl brush that wasn't so broken. I need to buy one when I go to the store. But wow. I literally love her. She is literally too cute. I'm about to go away for the weekend, so I'm happy she came before I went away. And yes, meet Sunny, y'all. And he says bye. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is my first doll whose skin complexion is so dark, so deep. I am a black woman. This is so nice to see. <laughs> so nice to have. I'm just so happy. I'm so thankful. Thankful that I was able to buy her and that I am... 
an adult collector now. 